and the sheer size of him compared to some of the other buffalo that I've seen in my life blew me away. It means muddy, it means mean, and typically Duggar boys are your older bulls. They don't necessarily want to hang out with a big herd. Sometimes it's easier hunting a big group, even though they have more eyes and ears, because they make more noise. Compared to say Duggar boys, who are only in groups of you know, small numbers, they have less eyes, less ears, but they're old and they're wise and they're smart if a stick snaps in the forest, they know it's not them, and they're on high alert. Everything you can to get your well, we got plenty of opportunities, so if we keep bumping them and they're 100 yards. We got on tracks the first day, and we stalked buffalo every single day uh, and saw some amazing trophies, 42, 43, 44 plus inch buffalo. So that first couple days, we were in a mix. Uh, we were on herds of two or three hundred and we would bump them uh, and it, it was so cool because we would get within a hundred yards of a herd of bulls uh, and cows and we would just be evaluating the bulls at the, at the rear of the herd and we would get to about 70 and then they'd see us and we'd bump them and they'd run off. Now, when they ran off, there's this talcum powder in the air, and with last light, it played tricks with their eyes. They knew we were there, but they didn't know exactly what we were. We got very, very close to them. In the first couple days, with a rifle, we could have killed a dozen really good buffalo bull. We were trying to get to that 50 yard range. We did a little trick. There was dust in there and his last light. And what we would do is we would walk single file and the pH would start bellowing. And they would just stand there flat footed looking at us. Numerous times in the first couple days, we got to 60, 70 yards from these bulls. They were totally relaxed. They just or they didn't know what we were because we sounded like a buffalo cow, but we didn't exactly look like one. Even without pulling the trigger, we were extremely successful the first couple days. And then it came to a point where we did find a set of Daga boys. I think there was about nine of them in this group. Big tracks. I uh, felt like every single one of these buffalo were a buffalo that anybody would be proud to take. We walked pretty good distance. I think we were five or six miles before we found them. Everything was to our advantage. The wind was right. We started, it was that time of the evening uh, where the, the, the light was fading out. Uh, they were totally unaware of us. We were about 130, 140 yards from them. And there's one particular buffalo, um, very old, super gray color, slick, hard bosses on his horns. Maybe not the most impressive, wide, deep drop bull in the world, but definitely a bull that I wanted to take, especially with a bow. But the only thing that was going against us was for a hundred yards, there was nothing. There wasn't even a twig between us and them. We could have went around them and came in from a different angle, of course, the wind would have been bad uh, and it had more cover. At that moment, Baron and Tom and myself had a little powwow. If I try to make a move on this and I bump them because there's nothing between us, because I'm trying to get to 50 yards, then I've basically ruined 
a hunt for myself and I've ruined a hunt for my dad. So I said, I want my dad to take it. In our silence, we turn around and we're giving hand signals to my dad and he walks up there and I grab a hold of him and I get in his ear and I tell him, you're gonna take this rifle, Baron and Tom are gonna grab you and they're gonna walk you up there. There's great buffalo in there, but there's one in there they, they want you to take. This is your time. Of course, at that moment, he was like, whoa, whoa, wait, I don't want to kill your buffalo. So I had to explain to him on the cuff, which was probably not a great time to explain to him that I bought you a, a buffalo tag too. So just don't worry about it. Uh, and we're going to stay back because uh, there's just, we don't need that many feet, that many bodies creeping up there. I remember watching it through my binoculars and timing it on my watch. They closed the distance about 30 or 40 yards so they were about 80 yards from these buffalo and it took them 45 minutes three grown men creeping up there when he pulled the trigger the entire world exploded none of these buffalo knew what had gone on and when they jumped up they just took off running in whatever direction the first one started running in well guess what they ran in the direction of myself and cameraman Wes and the rest of the team. You what? You what? Come on, get out. You what? Shoot the man. You what? Shoot the man. You what? Keep your eyes on. Come on, you what? Shoot the man. Come on. My dad made several really good follow-up shots. First time he's probably ever shot a rifle, something in the 400 grain caliber, and made four, five amazing shots on a buffalo that was not standing still and just 10 ringed them every single time. You don't get nervous in the moment. You don't get shakes in the moment. I've never seen my dad act like that before. Like, he had to take a moment to himself. I was like, I looked at you, I looked at him. I don't know what you said, but I was glad you said it. Great job, Juana, great job, great job, great shooting, this and that. And I remember him just sitting there looking at this deal that was a bucket list thing for him to do that he never thought he would be able to do. Never thought he'd be able to afford it. Never thought he'd have the opportunity to go. And then when he finally got the opportunity to go, didn't think he would be physically able to go or physically able to do it. And here he is living in this moment, not worrying about cobras, not worried about leopards and lions. Words could not capture, I'm sure, what was going on inside him. Yet again, our PHs did an amazing job. This buffalo, old, gray, slick horn, slick boss, um, true to the form dog -a boy And he was a great trophy. Um, was ended up pushing 40 inches, uh, well past his prime loaded with big scars all over him. He was an old battler. Was hands down probably the highlight of my hunt. Super appreciative to be there with him. And it really kicked off the rest of the hunt. He went on to, to harvest a lot of great animals. And we went on to, to really work our butts off. Hey, hey, hey.